hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and uh, today I'm gonna review a uh, BC Rich guitar, uh, first for me. It's a Mockingbird Masterpiece. <laughs> Sounds nice, doesn't it? Uh, and it brings back memories, because one of the first guitars I ever got was a uh, BC Rich Mockingbird. That was made in Japan, and prove that not all Japanese made guitars are good because it was horrible but uh, still this guitar brings back some old memories uh, yeah let's talk about it we have a maple neck and rosewood fingerboard and it's a rather chubby neck actually uh, so it's both uh, wide and thick so it's a solid, solid piece of wood. Three aside tuners. It looks very much like the ones that were on my guitar, by the way. Big tuning heads. And um, they are, they seem solid, but the, on the other hand, they aren't very precise. Because if you turn them and they, it's, yeah, it's, they, aren't, they, aren't, they aren't exact. So there's some things still to give there. Uh, yeah, it's a Chinese made guitar by the way. Uh, yeah, jumbo frets, uh, mahogany body with this very nice looking uh, quilt top veneer. Looks really good, even up close. Yeah, two hamburgers. Uh, this is the volume for the bridge pickup and this is for the neck pickup. I actually switched these on my guitar because I thought it made more sense and a master volume. Tunematic bridge and string through body and that's a nice thing I think. I I'm, I personally think that affects the sustain of the guitar. It's a bolt on and the joint is really nice but I'll talk about playability later. But it looks kind of nice, doesn't it? Okay, Matthias and Harbour, I give it an 8 for that. Uh, build quality and durability. Well, uh, it feels very solid. Uh, there are some things. It has this um, binding. Uh, I'm quite sure it's painted on. You can even see traces of it. And the rather beautiful sunburst finish is painted on top of that. And it's really not well made at all. It's... Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> it looks horrible from up close. If you're in a distance, well, it probably looks great from where you're sitting. So, well, maybe it's not a big problem. Um, yeah, but other than that, it seems well put together. Um, there are some really nice details, like that these are sunk into the body. It looks really nice. Apart from that, but I give it a 7. For the paint job, build quality and durability. It, it seems like a durable guitar, though. I would say that. Uh, playability, yeah, it's a short scale nail and it neck and it's twenty four frets, uh, and that makes the distance between the last frets extremely small. I can't fit. I mean, I have not a giant hands, but I can't really fit <laughs> my fingers into them. And another thing, it's really hard to reach. If you're playing in a regular position, it's really hard to reach the last frets. So, I don't know. I could have lived without them, I think. Because I can reach like up to the 22nd. And as I said, the neck is rather beefy. So that's... Someone might like this, so you won't. Playability, I gave it a 6. I want to be able to play all through the neck, especially when they did this job of making a neck joint, but it doesn't really help, I'm afraid. Electronics, well, we have two uh, Duncan Design pickups. Yeah, and everything works. The pickup selector is kind of wobbly, but everything else... <laughs> it bounces back. Everything else works, so uh, yeah. I'll give it an 8, it's not a 10. 
Okay, let's hear it then. Um, yeah, I'll start with a clean sound and go through all the pickup combinations from bridge pickup to the neck pickup. <laughs> Pickups are rather loud, and uh, yeah, they sound good. I'll talk about that later. But the thing is, the action is not really super low, and it still buzzes quite a lot. And um, yeah, that is a bad thing. Probably it could be helped with uh, adjusting the truss rod, but. Uh, I'm not used to getting guitars like this from out of the box. So yeah, I'd say it's, yeah, I give it a little minus for that one. Here comes uh, overdriven sound. <laughs> to some high gain.
Yeah, and if it's one thing that's good about this guitar, it's the pickups, or at least the pickups combined with this guitar, because it sounds... Yeah, it sounds great. They are good pickups. Um, I gave it an 8 for the sounds. It's They are very high output, I don't know if you heard, but the clean sound. Because I have a little bit of compression there, but it would really try and <laughs> hard to stop it from overloading. So yeah, great sounds. Uh, all in all, it gets a 7.4, this Mockingbird masterpiece. And uh, I guess it depends on what you're going to use this guitar for. If you want it to be uh, like a fast uh, solo fret guitar, this is not the thing for you, I think. But if you're playing rhythm in a rock band or a metal band, I mean... This will be amazing. High output, really good sounding pickups, and like a nice chubby neck. Yeah. It just wants to go riffing. So do that. This has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd reviewing the BC Rich Mockingbird Masterpiece. Hope you like this one. See you soon.